Welcome back, everybody. It's Kree Rama from Junk Journal Divas. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. This is part three of this video, and I thought I would do a little recap here because this started off as using masterboards, and this is the only one that I have left. I used all of the masterboards that did not have the, these colors in. They were just all neutral. And that is what I was working on was just getting rid of some scraps and making some things out of the master boards. And I started making tags and went a little bit crazy. So I thought, <laughs> let's just talk about what I've done so far because it kind of turned into being all about backgrounds and mixed media backgrounds. So in part one, I made my snippet rolls and I made the master boards. And then in part two, I did these tags. So I'm gonna put these aside for now. And I'm just gonna talk about what I did here. And we can kind of do a comparison. So first of all, all the tags that I'm showing you, they are all the same type of background. That's what I started with. These were the first ones. And if you can see the backgrounds, well, I put some of my paper towel roll here. So these are really grunged up. I put a little, a thin layer of gesso on the background and I sprayed it with some coffee stain spray. And then I put some ink on, added water and just kind of smooshed it around a bit. So these are super grungy. I'm calling them my grungy grannies. <laughs> so that's what I did for these backgrounds. And then these are jelly prints that I used on the bottoms. For these, I did go over the focal points, the, the ladies, with a clear um, embossing powder. And I put the tabs on these with our little dangles here. So these were the first ones that I did. Now these are a little softer, obviously. So you can, if you can kind of tell the background, I put the thin layer of gesso. For all of these, I was using at the bottom some embossed papers that I inked up, added paint, and all kinds of various things too. Um, so there wasn't an exact uh, method that I used for all of those embossed papers. And on these, I only am, I put embossing glaze on their, their masks. So I don't know if you can see in the light. So these are the little bit of softer color here. And I used my rusty paper on the back. I did have these in my shop, but yeah, I sold out of those. So this was the second video. And now today, since I had all these focal points, I just, I had to keep going. So I start off here making these two. Now, these were a lot of fun. And I started off here with, you can feel it, but you won't be able to really see it in the video. But I started off with some frosted crystal. And what that does is just adds a little bit of grit. And then after I heat set that, I added some distressed crayons and just layered it up to get this, to get this look. I also have had a lot of fun playing with how to do my gears on some of them. I just did, you know, put some stuff on after they were cut on others. I painted the paper and cut them out afterwards, but you'll see that then this, they have some moving gears on them. And again, rusty papers on the back and the same the same thing for this one. 
and I think I'm going to I'm going to put these in my shop because I made so many of them. So I've got these with the movable parts, and then I've got these three, and I think these are my favorites because of the color. Of course, I always I love lots of color. I used embossing powder on these. Now, this was a lot of fun playing around with. Let me just hold the three of these up. If you can just focus on these bottom papers. This one's kind of hard because there's a paper here that I put over top. But if you can see, it's like that metal sheet that I grunged up. So this is this grunged up. I don't know, hopefully you can get a good view there. I did, I embossed all my images. I also embossed the picture frames here with the glaze and went around with my, cause I just, I love this, this bright blue thread with all of these just I love the colors and that's like my one of my favorite colors anyway I love the bright the turquoise and teal and then I did stamping on the background and this is embossing glaze again on the background doing that brick the little sayings here I don't know if you can see but they have a little bit of uh, dimension to them because they layered them up. And if you can see my gears that I used here, I think this one has the foundry wax on. Let's see. Yeah, this one's kind of hidden in the background. Just stinked up. I, I went crazy. I just made a whole bunch of different gears. Um, let's see. This one looks like it has some foundry wax on it too, if you can see that shine. So these are all of the tags that I did. And so in this video, we are going, oh, this is the other paper. So this is what I used on the bottom here. So I do a lot of fun stuff with the patina effect paint, embossing powder, what else? Oh, and the distressed crayons. Like I said, this turned out to be a lot more about mixed media and using different different mediums here. But the, this is what I do in this video. So this has been a lot of fun playing. I think I'm moving on now though, but a lot of fun playing. So let's get started with the video now. Hello everybody. I am back for, I guess this will be part three. In the last video, I showed a whole bunch of my embossed papers that I had. So I cut out some more gears and I wanted to try maybe to put some foundry wax on these guys. So we're going to try that and I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Okay. So you got to be careful. All right. Sometimes it gets clogged and then all of a sudden it'll go and a whole bunch comes out. So you have to be careful with this and close it back up because it does dry quickly. Okay. It would be kind of cool to do this on top of some of my papers here. So if you haven't used this, it, it dries very fast. The foundry wax does. So let's see, I'm just gonna do a couple of them here.
So now I'm gonna use my heat tool to heat set these. Okay, so you can see the copper color. You can kind of see it in the light. So I've got those. And I've got some of my master board pieces. Let's see, so I have five and then there are these two that are a little bit skinnier. What is that? Maybe quarter of an inch skinnier. So first thing, I'm just gonna use my tag, my template and cut these down to size. And then I'm thinking I'll cut out some more gears. And so I'm gonna put some foundry wax on top of this embossed paper. And we will heat set this and then we can cut out some more gears. And I'm thinking what I wanna do is kind of stack the gears going up the side. And you can see here the foundry wax sets very quickly. So here are my gears, and I'm gonna save that piece of paper um, that was left over so we can use this maybe for something else. I have the images that I want to use for these two, but before I do anything else, I'm going to use some frosted crystal, which is like an embossing powder, but it just adds a little bit of grit to your project, to the, the medium, whatever the base is that you're using. So I'm going to put some of that on first, the frosted crystal. And then after I heat set that, we will play around with some distressed crayons to make our background.
So here's a look at our finished tags that we did today. And as always, thank you so much for joining me and watching my channel.